Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Bernard Tobin here on the Corn School in Oxford County today, joined by Steph Kowalski from the Agrimart. How's it going? Good. Thanks for coming down, Bernard. Hey, great to have you on the show. Um, you have been traveling all over eastern Canada. One of the things you've been seeing a lot this year is thrips yeah. in corn. Tell us about what you're seeing. Yeah, so very unusual year. Uh, a lot of a lot of pest pressures, and uh, I was in Nova Scotia last mm -hmm. week, and and easily finding thrips on the lower leaves of the corn out there. Uh, so it's just been been very widespread this mm -hmm. year. Yeah. Talk about thrips. Paint me a picture of what I'm looking for, what I'm seeing mm -hmm. on those leaves in that corn. Yeah, so I don't think there's actually a divined uh, term for it, Burn, but um, what you see is, is it looks like little scrape marks on the upper side of the lower leaves, and uh, and then on the underside is where the actual thrips are, um, piercing and, and sucking the sap out of the plant. But but on the upper side, I'm walking through and looking for uh, little tiny scrape marks, it mm -hmm. looks like, basically. When it comes to thrips, what type of thresholds are we looking yeah. at from a yield perspective? Yeah, so that's the hard part, Fern, is there's no real defined thresholds for thrips. Um, you know, in horticulture crops, it, it, you know, we have those defined thresholds for thrips, but in, in corn, it's just, it, it, uh, it hasn't really been determined because it's so rarely an economical threat. Mm. What about, I guess, this year? Um, any specific conditions that are bringing those things on? Exactly. Uh, very dry, hot, dry conditions. Um, you know, the corn was already suffering and, and stressed under those conditions. And then when the thrips set in and, and they're sucking that sap out, it just continued to hold those, hold those plants back. So hot, dry uh, is, is a recipe for, for them coming and staying. Mm -hmm. What about scouting? When should we be out scouting looking for this pest? Yeah, so we were finding them in the early vegetative growth, you know, um, up to the 6-8 leaf. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think they can be there all season long, but, um, you know, there, there's a lot of corn plant there to have a, an impact. So we rarely see them uh, this late on uh, having a, a substantial impact. Mm. Now you had a field that you were managing this year uh, up the Bruce Peninsula, um, spotted them early and actually took care of that field. Yeah, so Spruce Dale found a, uh, a field under uh, some, again, some hot, dry conditions. And, uh, you know, they monitor it and we, we had a discussion about it. And it was just so stressed and there was no rain in the forecast that, that we decided to take those, those thrips out. How did you manage that field in Bruce? Yeah, so great question, Byrne. Um, you know, we talked to Tracy Bowdy and we determined the stress on the crop was going to be too much. So uh, there's a variety of insecticides registered out there, for some for control and some for suppression only. So we picked our best tool and uh, we actually put a foliar micro pack in to help ease some of the stress with uh, with no rain in the forecast. And, um, you know, the crop hasn't looked back since. It, it looks awesome. Awesome. So learnings here, uh, get out there, scout. If you spot thrips, you have control options. Exactly. Awesome. Hey, thanks for taking the time. Thanks for having me. Awesome.